The top layer of the Earth is called the crust. But as much as we like to think of the surface of the Earth as one continuous thing, it's not. The world is more like an eggshell, cracked all over. These sections of the Earth's crust are called tectonic plates, and they float on a sea of hot magma. The cracks in the egg are like boundaries between plates. There are three main types, convergent boundaries, where plates move towards each other, divergent boundaries, where plates move apart, and transform boundaries, where plates slide alongside each other. A subduction zone is something that happens only with convergent boundaries. Subduction is where, after colliding, one plate sinks below the other, and a subduction zone is the area where two plates are sandwiched on top of each other, like a tectonic BLT. Subduction zones are places of high activity. When two huge tectonic plates collide, the pressure and friction is great enough that the material in the Earth's mantle can melt, and both earthquakes and volcanoes can result. The exact features around a subduction zone depend on the type of tectonic plates that are colliding. There are two kinds, oceanic plates and continental plates. Oceanic plates are, unsurprisingly, underneath the oceans. But this isn't what makes something an oceanic plate, because there are exceptions to this rule. Instead, an oceanic plate is a section of the Earth's crust that's made mostly of mafic or basaltic rock. In contrast, continental plates are composed of felsic, or granitic rock. Some subduction zones can be shorter lived than others. If one of the two plates is oceanic, a full sandwich forms and can remain there indefinitely. However, two continental plates collide with such force that the material from each plate is broken up and forced upwards. This is why the biggest mountain ranges in the world form from the collision of two continental plates. When one oceanic and one continental plate collide, the oceanic plate slides below the continental plate. This happens because oceanic rock is denser than continental. Features include an underwater trench on the oceanic side and mountains on the continental side. When two continental plates meet, the main feature that results is mountains. The Himalayas, the biggest mountain range in the world, was formed this way. Two oceanic plates collide to create large underwater trenches. The temperature and pressure can be so intense that it liquefies part of the crust, and this liquid rises up to create underwater volcanoes. These underwater volcanoes can form islands over long periods of time. As mentioned previously, the Himalayas formed when two continental plates collided, the Eurasian Plate and the Indian Plate. This collision continues to this day. The Himalayas are still getting taller. Many of the islands in the Pacific, in the so-called Ring of Fire, were formed due to subduction zones, though some instead formed at hot spots in the middle of otherwise continuous plates. An example of a series of islands that formed from a genuine subduction zone is the Aleutian Islands, positioned near the border between two oceanic plates. Another example of a subduction zone would be the one that formed the Cascade Volcanoes in Oregon, Washington, and Western Canada. These volcanoes were created from the subduction of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate that continues to this day. The Earth's crust can be pictured like an eggshell, fractured into many sections which we call tectonic plates. There are three types of plate boundaries, convergent, divergent, and transform. Convergent boundaries are where two plates are moving towards each other, and this is where subduction zones can be created. A subduction zone is where two plates collide and become sandwiched on top of each other. The collision can be so violent that the material from the two plates is broken down and merged together to form mountains, as is the case for two continental plates. There are two types of plates, continental and oceanic. Oceanic plates are made of mafic or basaltic rock. Continental plates are made of felsic or granitic rock. The main features of subduction zones include ocean trenches, volcanoes, and mountains. Earthquakes also happen as a result of these collisions. When two continental plates collide, the land is broken and pushed upwards, creating mountain ranges. When an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate, the oceanic plate, denser, subducts beneath the continental plate, less dense. The result of this is a trench under the sea in the oceanic side and volcanoes or mountains on the continental side. When two oceanic plates collide, they produce oceanic trenches and underwater volcanoes, which can ultimately form islands. Many of the islands in the Pacific were created this way.